Well, this is it. It's lit up like Christmas out there, and you get, it looks like it's lit up back here too, but can you see my bedding or my bike? Barely. It's nice and dark. Once I lay down, no light in my eyes. They, these lights may very well go off later on tonight, but we'll see. Depends on what kind of crime is in this area. They might be on all night. Doesn't matter though, it's dark when I lay down and that's all that counts. Might work out. I mean, it's kind of not as good as my other spots, but it's close to the hospital. So that's a, the advantage of it. Uh, and there's that vacant building right there on the corner. I'm looking at it right now. Once all the coffee shops and places I can hang out in the daytime, indoors, close, I can come over there if it's raining and hang out underneath there and wait for everything to quiet down. Then I can go across the street to the sheds because I really don't want to get seen going in there. I want everything to be nice and closed and everybody's gone home. Or the night shift is all inside stocking shelves because there's people in that hardware store all night long. But after a certain point when they're closed, they're all inside. Um, yeah. I'm going to start documenting how I'm surviving out here because that's happening. It's not like I got diagnosed with cancer and all of a sudden they invited me into the, you know, the mansion and going to take care of me. None of that. I'm just going to beg and bivouac outside just like I always have. But anyway, I'll, I'm going to have to wait to get more information to figure out to basically to where I can base a decision on, you know, more complete information. That's all. I, everything's up in the air right now. I might stick around, do the little protocol I'm following on my own, and do standard of care too. Or I might just get the hell out of here. We'll see. So, good night, guys. Sweet dreams.